let me describe this determinant idea. By the way, this method is called the Kramer's rule. Um, and you might like it. It's really actually good when you just want to find a particular, a final x, y, or z, like you want one value of a sys3 variable system of equations. Um, but you can do all of them too. It just takes long. It's very tedious. So here's how it basically works. What you do is you take the three variable three equation, and what you do is you take each piece, one, two, three, so negative three, two, Two, but other, by the way, they have to be x, y, z in order. x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z. So you take these numbers and you write them in this, kind of like a determinant, but they're like absolute value, straight lines on each side, call it a determinant. And then you go 1, negative 1, negative 3, and then 2, 3, negative 3. So you basically write all the coefficients of the variables right here in the determinant. And what I do is I rewrite the first two columns outside. Okay, so you write in all the variables and then you rewrite the first two outside. And then what we do is we simply multiply down. So you start in the top left corner. You multiply down. See right here? You get negative 9. Then you multiply down again at an angle. You do that, you get negative 12. And when you multiply down again, you do that, you got 6. And you add all that up. As you can tell, you get negative 15. Then you multiply up. You would get negative 4. Multiply up, you get 27, assuming you my work right here. And then you multiply up, there's the work, you get negative 6. When you add up all this, you get 17. And then you subtract the 2. This is negative 32. Now this value is going to be used to find every single individual x, y, or z. So you have to do this one first. Next, what you do is, if I want to find x, what I do is I simply put the answers, 4, 1, and negative 1, into the x column. See how this is the x column, then you have a y column, and you have a z column. So I'm going to replace the answers with the x column. So see right here in red, I have my answers, 4, 1, and negative 1, replacing the x column up here. And then again, I rewrite my first two columns outside so I can go this like diagonal multiplication process. So I'm multiplying down. So if you watch, you multiply these, bam, you get 12. Multiply down, again, you bam, you get 6. Multiply down, 6. Add all that up. Then multiply up, up, up. I got those values. I add them all up, add them all up, subtract, and I got 64. And then what's weird is you take this 64, sorry, when you subtract those two, you get 64. You take and you divide by that first value, negative 32. And that is your x value. To find x, you just simply take that 64, divide by that negative 32, and that is the x value, see right here the answer, of your system of equations. So if I want my y value, what I do is I simply take my original determinant, but I replace the y column with the answers, 4, 1, and negative 1. 4, 1, and negative 1. I replace the y column with the answers, and bam. And so I rewrite the first two out here, do my diagonal multiplication, got all those, ends up with negative 17, multiply diagonally up again, boom, 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 multi multiplication, you add it all up, subtract, you get zero. So if you take zero divided by negative 32, you get zero, so the y value is zero. And I do it one more time for z, the exact same repetitious method. Okay, so if we replace the z value, see the, up here the z values, with the answers, 4, 1, and negative 1. And then you multiply down, 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 up, 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 up. Add it all up. <laughs> Add it all up. Subtract the two values, and I get 32. So 32 divided by, again, the original up here, negative 32, you get negative 1. It's a very slick way of finding a 3 variable 3 equation. It's very easy to make a small mistake, like adding something wrong, multiplying something wrong. But some people like this little method. It's, it's called Kramer's Rule, and it uses something called determinants. Determinants are like a matrix with straight lines instead of brackets. Um, and uh, if you like this, give it a shot. It's pretty cool.